The Veeam Portable Data Format is one of our biggest technical differentiators. The ability to back up any image-based backup and restore it to any location enables for so many interesting use cases. Absolutely, the first thought that we generally have is about recovery. Recovery in that workload is sometimes the most important action that comes from any backup. But what about other opportunities? The ability to send your workloads into the public cloud to see how they run or to give your test and development teams the access to those systems in a different location, a different environment away from production. Or the ability to migrate workloads between different platforms and environments, also an option. All Veeam image-based backups are written into the same file. The best analogy I can give is a compressed file that was created in, let's say, 1998 on an old Windows operating system. If you still had that compressed file today, you could still open that file on a new Windows operating system, but you could also open that on a Linux machine or a Mac OS system, or even on a mobile device. Any backups that have come from your virtualized platforms such as VMware vSphere, Microsoft Hyper-V, or Nutanix AHV, they all write into the .vbk format. This is the same for any of our cloud-based workloads, from Microsoft Azure, AWS EC2 instances, and Google Cloud Platform. Finally, let's not forget our Windows and Linux agents, aimed for your physical systems that require an agent to be protected. All these systems write to that same file format with that same added benefit of being stored across a wide array of storage repositories. Then what can we do with that file format is we have the ability to recover those workloads regardless of where they came from to any of those locations. Some faster than others in that we have the ability to instantly recover those workloads to vSphere or Hyper-V, but we can also perform the restore conversion into the public cloud. This is important because you don't know where those workloads need to be in six months, a year, or even beyond. This flexibility enables this to be available. The other thing to add is this restore scenario is included in our community edition. The ability to perform these restores with no limits, even if you're no longer a Veeam customer. On top of this, we also have our extract utility. Available for both Windows and Linux, which works the same as that compressed file, giving you the ability to extract the raw image files from the backup. Hopefully that was useful. You can find more on this topic at veeam.com.